Hi there and welcome back, friends, uh, to Galloway's Moor. We are exploring it. We are friends with the uh, guys from Galloway's Moor, with the Fangs, so-called. A hunting sect. We have helped them on various occasions and we are now exploring their moor. I see some. And it's full of traps still. It's pretty dangerous to threat here, but it also gives a lot of XP. And we can also gain a lot of traps while doing that. Not that we're using them, but that's another story. I think it's very interesting to go in there and find out what's going on here as well. There may be something hidden here we don't yet know. Some hunters. Lava. Some Something going on here. There's a big fight. What's going on here? Irenzi, an elven woman, intercepts you as you advance into the lair. Behind her is the largest lioness you've ever seen, a sleek beast with fangs as long as carving knives. The woman blocks your path to the lioness, seemingly at ease around the monster. This is Sul's domain, Estramor. She shall not leave it for Oarnos or any other challenger. Hmm. Now let's find out why she doesn't. After we after we've <laughs> finished the quest, what are you doing here with Sol? She looks at the lion with something between fondness and admiration, defending the rightful champion of Galloway's Moor. Werner's supporters would have her ousted in favor of a bear that isn't strong enough to come and seize this territory on his own. Why does Sol refuse to face Werner's? Werner's is welcome to confront her here, as many challengers have in the past. What the bear's supporters want is for Sul to leave her lair and fight in the open, where he has an advantage. But why should she? If Sul has an advantage here, it's one she's earned. Would anyone expect to blunt the bear's claws in order to even the odds? The Lord of the Hunt gives unique advantages to each. It's not for us to decide that some of them are worth less than others. Well spoken. The lioness gives a low, low growl, and Irenzi smiles. Also, Sul has recently given birth to cubs. They're small now, but when they grow, they will be mightier than either Sul or Oernos. But if Sul is killed in combat, that bear will tear her young to shreds. Such is the way of the wild. Her legacy is too valuable to perish this way. If we truly want the mightiest of beasts in the moor, then her cubs must grow to maturity. Um, all right, that that sounds reasonable to me. Maybe she just because she talked to us first. I'll deal with Oernos then. Good, that bear isn't nearly as strong as Aenden, and his followers think if someone were to prove just how easily that bear can be killed, that would cure everyone of their delusions. <coughs> uh huh. And now, what is happening here? Um, what's going on? There was some movement, and it goes back. Yeah. Is that that's the bear problem? Are there Oernos? Can't we even kill the bear? No. Tufts of horny fur and crushed grasses out at a small hollow in the back of the cellar. Uh, there was this, this island guy. Bellowin's way is for the weak to beat the strong. But in him, not in heaven. What will we do here? What's, what's here? The thorny vines are twisted together, forming a wall. They quiver and begin to part as you draw near. Pass through the vines. 
you walk forward, the vines shift and their thorns retract, providing you with clear and safe pathway through. We merge unscathed on the other side. I see something. Um, yeah, let's let's leave them to their own. I'm not sure what what's going on there. What I know though is this is bug because there should be probably a bear standing there. It's all good. It's all good. We're just taking our plants here. And we will leave this place. Oh, there's a trap. Untrap it. Nice. Ah, and there's the chasm. Yeah, and the stones at the edge of the chasm are slick and beaded with moisture. So it's bad that this is bugged, but it's not vital as it's not part of the main quest, I think. So we'll cross back. We'll just leave it at that. Irenzi killed the bear. Whatever. <laughs> it's not important. They think that it is solved and it shall stay that way. Let's leave and um, look at um, look at this place a little a little more. I'm still thinking about why. Yeah, but it's it's just a bug. It's it's bugged probably. Otherwise, the bear would have attacked us now, surely. So they'll do what they want, we'll do what we want. We're in old song. And we will look at everything that is still here. Maybe at the temple thing, maybe at the... We didn't visit this part yet. Really, so... Let's go back down here and see if we can... If we can get something, find something out. It looks like dragon bones to me, all, all of that here. It's really strange. Let's see, is there some, someone standing here maybe? Oh yeah, there is someone. Interesting. Is this a shop or something? Builder's wisdom to you. An olden woman named Orwa stares at the sky with an air of deep contemplation. She occasionally puffs from a wooden pipe, blowing smoke into perfect rings. What stands before me? She wipes her lips with the back of her hand. Her teeth, uneven and pointy, are stained red. I do not see Estra more than often. She picks the remains of an ochre root stuck in her gums, and believe me, I see many things. Perhaps you want to see them too, yes? She gestures behind her at an assortment of plants, root and files lying on the rug. Let me see what you have for trade. I'll present these happily. Do you have... Oh, yeah, she has all sorts of stuff. That's not too bad. Yeah, we'll actually... We should buy some stuff here. Maybe burnt lady, dirk caps, cave coral, blood moss. That's just... Pick up everything that is not a drug, right? Gold, celery... Yeah, all of that is needed for uh, enchantment, so... Ruxon? No, we don't want that. It's not bad, but it's some kind of bone, so... Uh, drug, so... We're not taking it. Same for the swift. And the rest is okay. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> and we could maybe sell some stuff as well. Everything that is blue goes to her. I'm only ever keeping the yellow things now. And the books. Oh. Because, yeah, the books are pretty... Uh, you relearn some stuff from your guys. Then you need the books to 
learn all the spells you learned again because all your spells will be deleted then. So we're going to take along the books and the yellow weapons. You never know. They're so good. It's really a blessing. Um, yeah, all the armors as well. Want to get rid of that stuff? Here you go. Wow, that's really a lot. What a mess. But <laughs> we're at 78,000 now. Wow, that's incredible. It sounds like church bells here. Remarkable. That's the way to the burial aisle, but we haven't been to this platform really. So let's let's find out what's on the platform. Maybe there's someone standing there with, which we could talk to, or who we could talk to. And what are they to us, these pale elves? Strangers to us all. Yeah, not anymore. They are now dead rubble. Hey, there's some money, and we can just take it. That's good. That somehow looks like some kind of opening, but you cannot go there, strangely. Mind hunters, channel the enemy's thoughts and thus command their mind. Do you understand? No. <laughs> Interesting. There is someone named Dolhau. What brings you here? A thin, ragged man stands waiting on the barge, leaning on the oar. A smile of greeting splits his weathered features. It has been a long, very long time since an outsider sought passage. To the burial isle. What is this burial isle? It is a sacred place, for it sits upon the great works of the builders. There, by our ancestors, all our anamphaths are laid to rest. So, it's really a burial isle. If you go there, my friend, it is not a place where the living to walk. Huh, is it dangerous there? Dovol nods solemnly. Those I bring to the island return the same way, or else not at all. It is home only to the dead spirits. Shades of the builders remain and watch over our Anam father. They are bound to the island and protect it fiercely. Oh, farewell. We'll go there later. But there's still this this kind of this dragon. So. I want to look at that dragon. There's the matter of Rimmergan, but yeah, there's only Glassfall left. Maybe we'll find out something about him from some other side. Let's talk to this protector. Our Anna Father oversee Twin Elms from the Passage of the Six. Hmm. And let's have a look here. Ah, there's the Temple of Hylia. We cannot go there yet. We need to go to the North Weald first. And I think we should definitely do that. Because there's a lot to do here. We need to find that hunter. We will maybe find the beast as well. And there was something else. I'll look it up for the next episode. Uh, there's a lot to do in the North Weald, so we may well as we may as well go there. Find out. Also, I want to go back to the forest we were already and uh, see uh, if we can find something there as well. Yeah, it's at the mercy of the tribes, and uh, we will find the Durwooden expedition by the Pilgrims camp in the North Weald wild wilderness next time. So, thank you for watching, happy gaming to you, and uh, see you next time when we're looking for the expedition. Happy gaming to you.